Greetings, I'm Barrent and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. Today we are going to be returning to the Nemesis. We're going to be playing this as a co-op game. We're going to be playing with two characters and we're going to try to survive the Nemesis. Now I've gone ahead and put the board out to the second side, the more advanced side they say, and we're going to be playing a little bit different. We're actually going to be playing against the Carnomorphs this time. I'm really excited to play against a whole new faction. This will be really cool to see this whole new species interact with the way the board and our characters do. And also, speaking of characters, we're also going to be playing with two new characters. I'm going to go ahead and use the Android Android, and I'm going to use the CEO. They're going to be the two new characters we get. This is all from some of the expansion materials, and I want to show you what those are able to do and what you're able to get inside that material. So in this video, we're going to do a quick setup, and the stuff that we would set up normally in a game, I'm going to go through pretty quickly, but the stuff that has to do specifically with the Carnomorphs, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how to set that up, and then we're going to get right into the action and see if we can survive the Nemesis. Are you excited to see the Carnomorphs in action? And do you think our Android and CEO have what it takes to make it through the Nemesis? If so, then I need you to meet me at the table. So I've gone ahead and placed down all our level one and two rooms onto the map, and I've put exploration tokens on each one of them. Now there is one small difference between the way this map works and the one on the other side of the board. You actually know where the evacuation sections are. So evacuation section A and B are both unlocked from the start, but we do still put a token on them in case we ever go in there first, and we never know what's actually gonna be in there. Now there's a few more things we have to set up. One is we have to set up our coordinates. So they're right here, we're just gonna shuffle them up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and put one out. Now we don't know exactly where the ship is going. We do know wherever it's going, it's gonna be the B. So one of those is B, we don't know which one and we gotta find out and hopefully it's gonna be going to Earth. The next thing we need to put out is our escape pods. This is the lock side, this is the unlock side. And since we're playing two players, we're gonna put one on the A and we're also gonna put one down here in the B area. The next thing we have to do is our engines. So we're gonna take all of our engines here, we're gonna mix them up a little bit. So we got number one, mix that up and we're gonna put them right down here. Then we're also gonna take number two, mix those up a little bit so we don't know which one's which and put those right down over here. And the last one we have to do is number three. We're gonna mix up that a little bit and we're gonna put that right over here. So our engines are ready to go. Are they damaged or good? We don't. No. In order to find out, we have to go to the engine rooms and check them out. So to finish setting up the board, the only thing we have to do is put our marker down on 15. So we're going to go ahead and set up our carnivore board. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put eight eggs into the nest. Then we're going to take our eight random carnivore adaption cards. And very similar to the way the weaknesses work for the intruders, these are actually going to, I believe, power up our carnivores. So we're going to put three of them out blindly. Then we're gonna go ahead and take one of each of the types. So here's the Shambler. I'm gonna show them to you because I think these are absolutely awesome. We're gonna put them right there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our Flesh Beast. Wow, check him out. Unbelievable, so good. All right, we're gonna put him down. And then last but not least, we've got the Butcher. Look at that, wow, so cool. All right, we're gonna have them out right here. The reason they're on the cards is the first time you encounter this creature, you'll not only put that miniature on the board, you'll reveal the adaptation that they have. So they're gonna become more powerful the more of these that come out. And each one of these, I guess, will help each one of these type of monsters. So to put together our intruder bag, it's a little bit different than the actual nemesis bag. We're gonna go ahead and put a blank one in there. Then we're gonna put two blue metagors in there. And then we're also gonna put two red metagors into this bag. And that's it. It's a lot smaller than the original nemesis bag, but that's because these monsters are gonna feed and grow into more powerful monsters. Now I've gone ahead and set up all our tokens right over here. We also have some here as well, and then we also have some of our carnivores. I put them out. Now there is a difference here. This one is a red Metagore chip. It's different from the blue ones that we've seen in the Nemesis game. When we're told to put a Metagore into the bag, it's always going to be a red one. In the original bag setup, there were two blue ones, but that's the last time we're gonna be using blue ones. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up all our decks. We got, of course, our contamination deck. We're just gonna go put that right over here next to the contamination scanner. Then we have our serious wound deck. We're gonna mix that up 
up. These are exactly the same as they are from the Nemesis game. Then we also are going to set up our event deck. Now this is specific to the Carnivore faction. So we're going to go ahead and put that out there. Then we also have a Carnivore attack deck, which is again specific for the Carnomorphs. We're going to put that there. And the last one we have is this character mutation. You're going to learn how these work during the playthrough. But as we take damage or gain damage or something, we might be gaining some of these character mutations as well. Now that's all the stuff we have to set up. Let's go meet our characters. Now we're going to start by going ahead and drawing our pass cards. What these pass cards do are going to tell us who's going to be going first. Now he's going to be going second and we're going to take our number two little tray here and put it down. It's this number two right here. We're going to face it this way and we're going to go ahead and put this card right in there. That's what we're going to do. Now the normally in a game when you play you're going to draw two random cards for your character and they're going to choose one and put the other one back. But we're playing co-op experience and I want a really cool thematic game. So we're playing the CEO and the Android. The Android is doing exactly what the CEO says. I think that's kind of really thematic. He's the only kind of human on the ship. I think that's pretty awesome. So now the CEO does come in with this card. I'm going to be playing with these as well. These are traits. Every character now has a trait from the expansion sets and I'm going to go ahead and use this trait just because that's how it goes. It says you start the game with a body serious wound. As long as your robot has energy markers, this wound is considered dressed. Before the game starts, check the corporate objective for each player. Now the bottom part we're not going to be doing because we're not playing a non-co-op game. We're going to be playing just a regular game. We're all going to know kind of what's going on. But I do have to grab a serious wound and it comes in dressed. So we're going to put that right down here. Now he also comes in, of course, with his robot pal, as you can see from the picture. And his robot starts with five energy, and I can discard one ammo injury marker each time you use a robot action that has that on it. Some of the robot actions are removed when used from the game after that. The robot's energy can be fully restored using an energy charge. So I'm going to put him right here. He's not a heavy item or anything. He's just a character that's helping out our CEO. Now, of course, it starts with the five energy cubes. So we're going to put them right there on his card so he is all set to go. Now as long as he has some energy, this is a dress serious wound. From the way I understand it, if he ever doesn't have any of these on there, this becomes flipped over. Also, it doesn't say anywhere where I can't heal that serious wound. So if we ever need to, I don't see why we can't find some green items and heal that serious wound. Now he also starts with two quest access codes here. They're quest items. I can activate this item in the comms room of either one of these. Now of course it does say and remove the other access code quest card from the game. So it only I'm only able to use one of these at any one time. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with those when we actually get to the comms room and decide to use them. Also, he's going to have his action deck as well. And in here is going to be some of the cards for his nurse bot. His nurse bot's going to have some cards in here. Let's look at a few of these to see what I'm talking about. So for example, here's robotic punch. In order to use this, I have to go ahead and spend one of the energy cubes in order to do it. Now there's also a couple other ones in here. For example, demolition I'd have to spend an energy charge for. Now if I were to ever play this card, stop it, it has an X symbol. I have to remove this card from the game. Now it's different. Even though this symbol's up here, it just means in this case that the robot is actually the one that's having to do this, but I don't have to pay the energy for it when it has this symbol down here for the card. So if there's any other cards like that, for example, protect, I'm just going to have to pay the cost of the card. I don't have to pay any energy. So we're going to mix this deck up and we're going to put it down next to the other one and we're going to move on to see what our Android's all about. So our Android, of course, is our player one, which is very thematic. Why would the CEO want to go first? Send the Android in. Now the Android, of course, does have her own card trait here. It says, after choosing the Android, discard your personal objective and draw a second corporate objective. Your wounds can only be dressed or healed by using the self-repair card. You cannot use green items on yourself, but I can gain them and trade them if I wish to. Except I can also use the clothing to get rid of slime. You can never have a larva or on your character board, each time you draw a contamination card, scan it. If it is infected, you suffer one light wound, remove the contamination card afterward, and draw an action card. So she, of course, can never have any type of contamination, and of course, she can only heal herself through her own power. And we're going to be able to see what some of those are like inside her action deck. 
Now the starting item for our Android here is an energy arm gun. And notice it doesn't have the heavy symbol. So again, this does not take up a slot in the right or left hand. It's just inside her arm. It gets three ammo. And when you roll a double hit, you deal one additional damage. This item cannot be traded or discarded since it's part of her. I'm just gonna put it here. If we ever decide to craft anything, I'll move some of those cards, but that's where we are for now. Now I also have an emergency energy cell and a deactivation module. Now see this on the bottoms here. You finish the game when the time marker reaches space five on the time track. Activate this item in the generator room and I believe this is gonna give us more time. The thing behind that is she's supposed to be pretty powerful, but she can't last very long. So she's actually gonna be out of the game when this turn marker gets down to five. So we hopefully either need to activate this or win the game by then. Winning the game by then will be way better. Now we are gonna go ahead and she does have her own action deck. Now this should be about the same size as all the other action decks we have. But if we look in here, there's gonna be some cards. If I could find that self-repair card, I think that'd be the one I wanna talk about. Repairs, nope, not that one, self-repair. So here's the deal with the self-repair card. We're gonna discard duct tape or tools to dress one of your serious wounds or heal all of your light wounds. You can also discard a malfunction marker from a room you're in. So she can be using this in multiple ways, but that is the only way she can heal herself. She can't do it through any other means, not on the board, not on a card, not through anything. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this deck up a little bit and she is again ready to go. So we're gonna put our character corpse in there and then we're gonna go ahead and put our characters on the board. We have our, what is this, the Android, she's all painted up and ready to go and she's gonna go right there and then we have our CEO being helped by his nurse bot here. He is also gonna be all set to go and ready for action. Now the only thing we have left to do is we have to find out what our objective is. So we're gonna go ahead and mix up our cards here and see what we get. We're gonna draw a couple, just draw the top two cards and see what they are. We've got first protocol, at least two intruder weaknesses must be discovered. Well, that'd be kind of tough because we don't have intruder weaknesses. Clean up crew, send the signal and the nest must have been destroyed. Or send the signal and the ship must have been destroyed. Oh, I think that'll be an easier one to do. All right, so we're gonna give one to the CEO and one to the Android. I should have said who was which, but again, we're playing co-op, so it's not the end of the world. Once we find our first carnomorph, then we're gonna be able to choose. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's probably gonna be this one. And that's it. We're all set to start the Nemesis playthrough with the Carnomorph expansion. I'm super excited. The Carnomorphs look so cool and I'm really excited to see how they play. If you enjoyed the setup, please feel free to give it a like, subscribe, and hit that bell symbol so you know when the playthrough comes out. Also, please feel free to leave anything in the comments below. I would love to hear from everyone. What do you think of the theme with this Android helping out the CEO to try to get through the Nemesis? Do you think they have what it takes? If so, then I need you to meet me at the table.